Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, competitive programming. So competitive programming is uh, an online sport where people from all across the world come together to solve challenging programming problems and there's multiple platforms where you can learn competitive programming. So there's Lead Code, there's Code Chef, there's Code Forces, Hacker Rank and in all of these platforms the good news is that it's not just for the advanced computer programmers. So there's a spectrum of problems from easy to medium to hard and there is a level for everybody. Now why spend time uh, you know competitive programming in the first place? There's lots of advantages to being involved in competitive programming. First one being obviously it makes you a better problem solver. It makes you, it increases your knowledge of data structures and algorithms. It makes you a faster programmer and it will also help you land your next job or it might at least help you get through the first or second to, uh, you know, first few rounds. Now why do I say that competitive programming helps you become a better problem solver? Well, the problems in competitive programming have, you know, they're from beginner level to expert level. So it challenges your mind to go from a problem that requires a certain level of complexity to a higher level of complexity. And this progression from one problem to another, to solving another problem, to solving another problem, keeps your, you know, uh, your programming acts or your problem solving acts always sharp. So it really keeps your mind engaged in solving new and new problems. In competitive programming problems, you need to engage your skills in not just programming, uh, but also your mathematical skills. So in a particular problem, you might use a data structure uh, like a linked list or a queue from a programming side. And you might also use permutations and combinations or in numeric analysis or any some other statistical method which comes from maths and stats. So because you're using concepts from different fields and combining them, it, it's always a challenge to your mind and you're always engaged with learning something new. So the, the areas of expertise that you need to gain and the variety of the problems from these areas of expertise makes competitive programming a vast landscape to learn from. Now another advantage of competitive programming is the mastery of data structures and algorithms that you will gain through competitive programming uh, because without uh, the no solid knowledge of data structures you won't be able to solve competitive programming problems. As, as a competitive programmer you will have to learn to manipulate common data structures like linked list, graphs, trees and many more and not only just manipulate data structures you will also sometimes have to make the choice of which data structure to use to solve a particular problem. So this will give you the insight into you know how, uh, first number one being very comfortable manipulating data structures and number two also being used to using or choosing the right data structure for the problem. Now when you graduate to becoming a professional software developer then this skill can be very useful because you know more efficient algorithms and more efficient code means less resources that your program will consume and this in turn will lead to lots of cost savings when you know your code is deployed to a server in the cloud or when uh, you are actually solving a business problem. So this habit of always optimizing your solution and knowing and finding bottlenecks will definitely make you a better programmer in general. Now uh, you you're a better problem solver and you also have a very good control of the data structures and algorithms that you need. This will make you a faster programmer. How, how can I say that? Well, imagine you're writing a piece of code and uh, you know you already are habituated to uh, similar patterns of code because of a competitive programming experience. So instead of having to look for the solution every time online and looking for solutions that other people have posted, you can just write the algorithm on your own because you've already experienced uh, you know, this similar pattern of problem before. So this makes you a faster programmer and also because you will be uh, exposing yourself to this timed environment where you have to solve problems within a certain time frame, you will automatically learn to think quick and also type more quickly and also solve problems more quickly. So it will definitely make you a faster programmer. Quick announcement guys, we are doing a Q&A video next week. So if you have any questions for the programmers team, comment down below with the Ask Programmers hashtag. Tomorrow is the last date for submission. So hurry up, back to the video. Another advantage of spending your time or investing your time in competitive programming is it will help you in job interviews. Because lots of companies in the world, in fact, most companies in the world 
still use uh, data structures and algorithms and programming puzzles to rate developers on their skills if you are familiar uh, to you know all these programming concepts and uh, data structures and algorithms and the common patterns of that are used in competitive programming then you will be able to solve these problems with ease because many of these problems you'll have already seen before or if there's a problem that you have not seen before you will already have practiced a lot of similar problems so you will automatically be able to come up with a solution quicker so uh, investing your time in competitive programming can definitely help you land your next job now let's talk a little bit about the other side of the story uh, competitive programming is great but if you want to really become a master competitive programmer then just you know practicing it, it is not enough you will also need to invest your time in learning high level mathematics now for some people uh, it might feel like you know something that they don't want to get into or it's not worth their time personally i definitely recommend exploring a bit of competitive programming for all beginners because uh, take it as a hobby you know like it might be some people watch netflix some people like playing video games so do it on the side explore it and learn some mathematics and statistics and data structures algorithms on the way now if you find that you know uh, competitive programming is my calling I'm, I'm i'm passionate about this then go to the next level invest more time in it otherwise you might find more interest in uh, traditional software development or web development or mobile development so it's at the beginning of your career or when you're just learning programming i definitely suggest trying out competitive programming but again if you find that it does not interest you then you know there's no need to uh, bang your head on the wall just because it does not interest you because i know a lot of programmers that have do, have no background in comp competitive programming but then they are brilliant programmers so it's really a choice it's something that you should definitely explore and who knows you might be the next great competitive programmer stay curious and i'll see you in the next one